Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. I have a riddle for you. When is a tie not a tie? Answer? When you turn it into a recycled, upcycled belt. It can also be a bracelet, a choker, or a headband. I'm going to teach you how to turn the lowly tie into a great piece for your wardrobe. So this is a no-sew project. So for this project, I'm going to be using a glue gun. Now, you can use, if you want, uh, like an Elmer's glue or something like that. The only thing is that you're going to need to make sure that you have enough time to allow for it to dry. I'm going to be using a hot glue gun because it's nice and quick. I'm going to need a pair of scissors. And I'm also going to need some rings. These are key rings. These are 32 millimeter key rings. You can use smaller ones, but 32 millimeters seems to be like a really good size that I've found. So 32 millimeter rings. And I'm going to be using three of these for this project. And then you're also going to need a tie. Now, the thing about this is when you're using your tie, make sure that it's an old tie that nobody wants anymore or make sure that it's a tie that you, you purchase at like a thrift store or something like that. I was able to get this at a thrift store really inexpensively. I think I paid about a dollar for it. So, you know, you may want to be able to find things like that in the thrift store. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a wrist version, so like a bracelet version. And because of that, I'm going to use this bottle of water here for my wrist because I won't be able to put this on my wrist and show you how it attaches. So I'm going to be using this as my wrist. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we are going to measure around the wrist and you want to go around twice. So we're going to go once and then around again and I want to come to like this side. So I'm like a quarter short. See that? A quarter short of going all the way around twice. So that's a quarter short of going all the way around twice. So I'm going to hold that with my finger here and I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip it right here. The thing about these ties is that now you have all of this length you know, and so you can make a whole bunch of other things with this too. Now, if you want to make a belt instead of a bracelet, what you would do is cut at the end right where it starts to get fat. But we're going to be making a bracelet this time. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I need to seal this edge down here. First thing though I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little snip to make it sort of like an, an arrow or a point. So I'm going to give a snip here and I'm going to give a snip on the other side. And I've cut down about an inch. You can see I cut down about an inch there, about the tip of my finger. and. I've made a little point and you'll understand why in just a second. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to glue these layers separately. Now it's really important you're working with fabric and if you're working with the hot glue gun you want to be very careful not to burn your fingers. So this is a good place where you might want to use the tips of your scissors or a pen or something like that to push down the fabric. So here you can see I'm putting the glue now I'm going to take this padding part that's inside and I'm just going to push it down. And now you'll see that this has a little split in between here. So what I'm going to do is first glue down the one side. I'm going to add as much glue here as possible to cover it up. And it's just a thin layer of this hot glue that I'm adding. And then I'm going to glue that down. And now I'm going to finish it off with another bit of hot glue. So you can see if you didn't want to use hot glue here, you could be using Elmer's glue for this or a fabric glue. You would just have to let that dry before the next step. And you'd have to let it dry really good. Okay, there we go. And now I've secured this edge so that it's all glued together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three rings, one, two, three, and I'm going to loop them through. just like that, till they get all the way straight through and they have a little bit of extra space. I'm going to pull this up 
And now what I'm going to do is put glue right here. Now watch fingers when you do this. Right here on the tip of my arrow point of tie. So see, I've put a whole bunch of glue there. See that? Now this is where you do have to be careful. I've got my three rings lined up and I'm just going to fold this up and over, securing those rings in place. Now, if you were going to use Elmer's glue at this point, what I would suggest is that you pin this into place to hold it in place. And that way, it won't go anywhere while it's drying. Okay, now this is your finished bracelet. And I'll show you how you're going to put it on. That's why I have my water bottle here so that I can show you. Because unfortunately, I can't put it on myself. So what you do is you wrap it around your wrist. And what you're going to do is take your, take your tip here and put it through two rings, the first two rings here. Put it through the two rings, split the rings apart. Put it back through the one ring, and now bring it through the double ring. And now you've got this really cute bracelet. Now here's the thing though. You could do this as a belt, you could do it as a choker, you could do it as a headband. It just depends on how long you make this piece here. And there you have it a super cute recycled tie into a bracelet. Now remember, if you make the pieces longer, you can wear it as a choker, or you can wear it as a headband, or if you're young and lithe enough, even a belt. For more recycled crafts, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.